For many American citizens who are anticipating the 2012 race for the White House, the economy, jobs, or endless war in the Middle East may be the issues of primary concern. But what about the looming, silent, and seemingly invisible threat of runaway climate destabilization that many of the world's leading scientists claim may jeopardize the very fabric of life on Earth. Many that we have spoken to on the left, who originally voted for Barack Obama, now say that they feel betrayed by his lack of sensitivity regarding environmental and climate-related issues, and they cite his actions on oil and gas drilling, acceptable air pollution levels, and the weakening of the EPA and EPA standards as examples. Corey Redstone, an ex-Obama campaign worker, says she now apologizes to friends and family for helping with the effort that put Barack Obama in the White House to begin with. Well, we can, we can only give our politicians so much political cover before we are forced to act. The Obama administration in no way has made environmentally friendly policies. They've allowed the expansion of drilling. They've allowed the expansion of extraction industries into fragile ecosystems. <laughs> I am so disappointed with the Obama administration, and I have apologized to people for helping Barack Obama get, get elected, and I am deeply sorry that I worked for almost two years to help him get elected, because his policies have been a continuation of the Bush administration policies. He doesn't seem to understand what the climate movement is about. So if Americans can no longer count on President Obama to take an urgently needed stance on environmental and climate related issues, then just who can voters turn to in order to lower our nationwide carbon footprint and lead us into a clean, green and sustainable future? Well, many citizens across the country are putting their faith and hopes into human rights leader and former Salt Lake City Mayor Rocky Anderson as a candidate who will not cave into the special interests of the oil and gas corporatocracy on issues regarding climate and the environment. And if you want to know just where candidate Anderson stands on the global warming issue and the amount of emphasis that he puts on it, check out this segment from the Environews Utah archives as the former mayor delivers a blistering lecture on the dangers of climate destabilization. This came from an event at the University of Utah during a global warming related legislative battle for the record books. Watch. After that intensive study over the years, there is absolutely no question that today we face the greatest threat ever in human history to the inhabitants of Earth. Never has there been a more crucial time for all people of goodwill, compassion, and care for our children and later generations to come together and demand of our elected officials to take effective action to prevent irreversible catastrophic climate disruption, or demand that they get out of the way so that somebody else will take informed, responsible action. Those who fail to take action, both in elective office and at the grassroots level, and that includes each and every one of us, everyone who fails to take effective action is creating a far more dangerous planet for our children and grandchildren. For those who have been confused, and I know there are a lot of people confused, especially when we have elected officials saying the kinds of things that they have been saying here and passing the kinds of resolutions that they've been considering here. There are many people confused by this intensive campaign of misinformation. But to those who are confused, I plead, please consider the fact that the leading international scientific bodies, the National Science Academies worldwide, in dozens of nations, including our own National Academy of Science, and even Utah's top scientists, including many of those who have spoken here tonight, are all in agreement. We are facing a climate crisis caused by the burning of coal, oil, and gas. And if we continue along this path with business as usual, tragedy and untold misery will result to billions of people 
including very likely our own descendants. These increases in temperature are due to human actions, specifically the burning of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas, and deforestation, and that a failure to radically reduce greenhouse gas emissions from these human actions will result in immense catastrophic consequences for our Earth and its inhabitants. Then you go from the international body of scientists to our own U.S. National Academy of Sciences. I urge you, anybody can read this. They've, they've dumbed it down so just about any layperson, including even our own Utah legislators, can get it. When polled nationwide, citizens overwhelmingly state their desire to see a viable and competitive third-party candidate on the ticket. Considering the fact that Americans elect is already on the ballot in all 50 states, one has to wonder if their strategy in this election cycle will bring that very candidate to the national stage. As of late, Rocky Anderson and his campaign have been fighting hard in an attempt to push the former mayor into first place in the popular vote-based system that will determine who will be the Americans elect candidate this year. Well, folks, it's 2012. You decide. For Environo's USA, this is Josh Cunnings.